Right now, Star Wars fans, I've been told to start doing more things off script, so here we go. I'm going to do a comic book breakdown with my own stupid thoughts. So we're talking about Darth Vader number 15, which is out now, That and it not only continues Darth Vader's journey in 2021, but it sort of quasi-crosses over with the War of the Bounty Hunters miniseries. Unfortunately, though... This issue was a clunker. Not a clanker, a clunker. It was horrible. It was nothing but backstory, kind of filling in some gaps. And the gaps, sadly, were not entertaining in the least. So it, it kind of picks up showing what Vader and Ochi were doing before they showed up at the Crimson Dawn party to kind of figure out that it was Crimson Dawn. Uh, nothing new happened here. Vader's story has not been progressed. The War of the Bounty Hunters has not been progressed. So yeah, this comic kind of sucked. But it's my man Vader, so I'm still committed to covering it. So anyways, like I said, Ochi's going around to all these planets that we previously saw him and Vader on. Now we're just getting... Uh, some different insights, but r really, it, it, nothing happened. There's no meat to this plot here. You know, they, they go to the desert planet, they figure out about Crimson Dawn, they go shake down Boku again, which we already know, because all this has already happened. I'm not sure why this issue was released right now. It's stupid. Uh, but anyways, really, the, the, the whole gist of it is Vader more or less testing his new pawn. So testing Boku, will he bid against Jabba? Which we learn he does. So again, pointless to see this stuff. Uh, but really, the meat was testing Ochi. And what Ochi may do as an assassin now that he's buddies with Vader. So Vader, kind of like Palpatine does to him, gives him little tests, like shoving him out of the uh, cargo ramp of his shuttle to go deal with uh, some Nudniks, in this case, some Crimson Dawn. And, you know, he approaches, he says, like, hey, what's up? They're like, hey, what's up? And then all hell breaks loose. He starts doing cartwheels and pew, 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 stuff all over the place. And, you know, he's kind of holding his own against a, a faction of Crimson Dawn thugs. Which leads this lady to be like, hey, dude, why don't you, we don't want to fight you. Why don't you join us? And he's like, you know what, lady, you're crazy. Uh, I hang out with Vader now. He's my master and he is going to mess you guys up. And she's like, yeah, good chance. He's not going to come and help you. And sure enough, he does not because it's Vader and he's testing Ochi's uh, loyalties to him. But. He fares pretty well. I mean, this assassin that killed Ray's parents, clone daddy and whoever mommy, fares pretty well without being a, a force user and actually wipes out most of the Crimson Dawn faction. And then Vader comes out and he's like, hey, man, glad you didn't turn your back on me. I guess we're buddies after all. And it ends with them, uh, you know, kind of fighting the rest of Crimson Dawn. And, of course, kicking their ass because that's what Darth Vader does. His middle name is Kick-Ass, right? Darth Kick-Ass Vader. Um, so I'm guessing really the whole point of this issue was to just show a little kind of behind the scenes of the relationship between Ochi and Vader, which is really been going on for a few months now so i'm not quite sure why we got this issue during the war of the bounty hunters crossover because it didn't add anything to that event and it surely didn't add anything to vader's main run here so i'm gonna give it a big pile of bantha poo do all right you can probably skip this one especially because i just half ass recapped it for you Okay, my friends, if you like what you saw here, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, do all that jazz. But more importantly, join us for the Star Wars Time Show every Tuesday on YouTube. That's why you need to subscribe. Because if you listen to the Star Wars Time Show, the Force will be with you. Always.